uh, John Webb, Head of Business Banking at AIB. Um, can you talk to us about the importance of your sponsorship of these awards, first of all? Well, firstly, Sorco, we're delighted to be associated with these awards. They're an opportunity to celebrate entrepreneurial success in Ireland. Uh, it's also an important opportunity for us and for our staff to get involved in the nominations process. And indeed, I'd like to thank all our staff who have nominated companies for these awards throughout the length and breadth of the country. It's a great opportunity for us to celebrate success at a local level. And that's why we are delighted to be associated with the awards and we're very grateful for, for the Small Firms Association for continuing to allow us to be involved. Great. And uh, in terms of actual supports to small businesses then, um, what, what is AIB doing to help small companies now? Well, small businesses are important to us. Uh, from a, you know, the government has uh, invested and the taxpayers invested a significant amount of money into AIB. Without that support, we would not exist. So simply put, we have to align our role our, all our actions to supporting the economic recovery, supporting job creation in Ireland, and that's what we're about. Uh, in terms of specific actions we're taking, one specific thing that I'd like to highlight is the Job Creation Loan Fund, which we've launched at the beginning of February. That is allowing our facilitating loans for expansionary purposes to business who lead to the creation of at least one new job. It's at a very attractive price of 4.4%, and I would encourage all businesses who are continuing, who are thinking of expanding, to please approach us, please test us by making a formal application. We do say yes far more often than we say no. If the answer is no, please use your right of internal appeal. If the answer to that is no, please use your right to the external appeal with the, comp with the credit review office. Okay. And what kind of trends are you noticing now with small businesses that you're dealing with? I mean, what kind of opportunities are there or particular challenges? Any observations you have so far? Well, as everybody knows, those businesses that are in the export sector are certainly uh, thriving. Uh, market conditions are uh, seemingly positive for those. For businesses that are exposed to the domestic economy, times are challenging. We're very uh, um, focused on trying to help those businesses through these difficult times, and we will continue to do that.